Today's video, I have something really cool for you. It's actually the Call Rail course in our school, which is Google Ad School, which you can join for free. There's a link below in the description. But I'm giving you this course away for free on YouTube, so watch this. It takes you by the hand from the beginning to the end of setting up phone call tracking using Call Rail in Google Ads. So all you're gonna do, we're gonna do create company. You're gonna upload your client's company name, company one. You're gonna choose your time zone. This is really important, okay? So choose the client's time zone that you're gonna be doing here. Next, you're gonna come down here to add users. I already have a bunch of users here. That's why it's showing this. You shouldn't have anything here. We can set the users up later. So it's gonna take you to a page like this. You're gonna hit create company. Okay, so this is important. We just set up our new company. It's called company one. Now we're going to set up here you can do users, you can do notifications, and we're gonna set up our tracking numbers. So the first thing we should do is set up our new users. All right, so how, what you're gonna do, you're gonna come right here, create new users. Here is where you're gonna create your user. You can make them just reporting, so all they do is get reporting access to the call rail campaign. They can't change anything, they can't buy phone numbers, they can't do anything like that, right? So if you're an agency, your client, usually you're gonna put them on reporting, which is this one right here. Manager, they can manage numbers, forms, and integrations. Administrator, they're an admin, all right? So for everyone watching, if it's your own business, make yourself the administrator. If it's a client, do it reporting. So for this one, I'll do reporting. User info, here's where you're gonna put your name, right? So Rob Ando, sorry, I have a username. And then I'll have my email here. So let's do the new one. Okay, so got my email there. Chat display name. You can do your, you know, whatever. Rob Ando. Okay, so I got all my user info. I'm going to select the company now. And it's going to pull up a list of my companies. And I'm going to select the one. So I'm probably going to blur this because I'm going to pull up all of my clients. But we'll uh, select company one, which is what we named this one. I typed in my company I created. Now this will be your client name or whatever. So company one, there it is. I'm going to check that box, review. And it's going to ask me if it's okay that I send an email to give myself access, right? Or give the client access. Whoever you just created the user for is going to get an email from CallRail to that they have to accept the invitation. Okay. Once they accept the invitation, then you'll be able to set up notifications for them and stuff like that. But they're going to have to accept it first. So that looks good. We're going to fire that off, send. And then we're just going to hit finish if you're done or if not, you can create more users and just keep doing that, okay? So you would hit finish here and then I'll accept that so I can show you how to set up notifications. Next thing we're going to do is set up notifications for the new user we just set up. So you would come down here, go back to the page. You don't have to go back. It's when you click one of these, it opens a new tab. So you can just go back to this tab after you're done setting up your stuff. So go back to the original tab here and we're gonna do set up notification, we'll open a new tab. So here is where you will select the company name that you want to set up notification for and the user, which is the user I just created here. Now, these people are gonna get alerts when calls and texts to our tracking numbers come through. So how we do that, create notification. Again, we're gonna select the company and the user, okay? So I selected the company we just created, I selected the user we just created, and now which interactions do you want to receive notifications for calls and text messages you can just do one or the other depends what you want to do you can check or uncheck these boxes then you can hit customize all right so you can go and add some filters here so you can filter for notifications on only first time callers only missed calls and voicemails only voicemails qualification status, right? If it's a qualified, not qualified, not scored. So you don't have to worry about that right now. Just do all interactions and all calls because you want to know if someone's calling regardless if it's the first time or if it's, you know, they keep calling back. Either way, it's only going to count in Google one time. If, if somebody calls you from Google Ads, it's only going to fire as one conversion regardless if they call you multiple times through the, the tracking number. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. But I usually do all calls. Some people like to do only first time callers they're notified of, but for our clients, we put it on all calls because we want them to be notified if someone's trying to reach them. And then you can come down here to more filters. You can filter by tag if you want. If, if they are lead scoring and tagging the calls, it's really 
That's for a more advanced tutorial. You don't need that initially to get set up and just get rocking and rolling, tracking calls. Delivery, how would you like to be notified? That's email and you hit save. All right, so now we are all set up to receive email notifications every time someone calls or texts our tracking numbers. Now we're back over to our create company tab. And finally, we're going to complete this. We're gonna create our tracking numbers. So we're gonna click that. After we click that, it's gonna take us to a little drop down box where you'll just select the company we just created, which was company one. Then you will see the page I'm on right now. So we're gonna set up a call tracking pool with rotating numbers. That's how we track conversions back to the keyword in Google ads and a static number, which we'll use for call extensions. Okay, so something important to note the static number that we're going to create for the call extension in the Google Ads campaign has to be on the landing page or website where we are placing it. I usually put it in the footer and that works fine. So keep that in mind. All right, where will you display a tracking number? On my website, calls, keywords, and web sessions, all visitors, swap target. So what this means, call rail is going to give you a code in about 60 seconds that we're gonna put on the landing page. So the swap target is the number on the landing page that the code's gonna look for to swap in the, the dynamic call tracking numbers. So whatever the phone number is, the destination number that you want the calls to go to from Google, this is where you wanna put that. And you wanna make sure that's the only phone number on the landing page, except for the call extension number, which we'll get to in a minute. So that's how you're gonna do that. So for the swap number, just make a number up. Right, so that's the swap number. That's the number that's on our landing page. Number set up, right? How many numbers should you add to your pool? Four, all right? So we always start with four, it's the minimum. You can add more tracking numbers. If you have a very high volume of traffic, that's where you'll want to add more call tracking numbers because they'll swap too fast and they won't capture all of the conversions if you have too little numbers and a ton and ton of traffic. So to start, Everyone watch this video, most likely you're only going to need four, unless you're getting thousands of clicks a week, or even let's say hundreds of clicks a week, then you'll probably need five. I, usually five to eight is the highest we, we run them. So in between that range, but to start, four is fine. Which kind of number should you add to your pool? So you can do a specific area code, or you can do a toll free 800 number, 866, whatever. These are $3 per number per month surcharge. So keep that in mind. The, uh, the localized numbers are not that much. I think they're like a dollar or $2 or something like that a month. And then you get billed on usage, which is, it's cheap. So just build it. If you're an agency and you're, you're signing clients, just build it into your pricing and you'll have no issues. All right, numbers and specific area codes. What was mine? 267, 267 numbers available. Now, what do you like to name this? You can just do website pool or call tracking pool, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. Google ads pool, number routing to an existing phone number. Here's where you'll put the destination number. Okay. That doesn't have to be the swap number. Okay. This is where all the phone calls are going to be directed. That's important. But usually the way I set it up, it's the swap number is the same. The swap number is the destination number. And that's where I'm sending all the calls that come from Google to call recording. So it gives you a prompt. Okay. This call will be recorded for quality assurance. It takes like two seconds. Listen to it. This call will be recorded for quality assurance. Some states, you have to have this on. It really depends on what state you're running ads in. I just, as a blanket cover, cover my ass situation, I just always have this, okay? I am, unless specifically told by a client and, I, and I've looked up the state law that they don't have to have consent to be recorded on a phone call, then I'll turn it off. But for most cases, 99% of the time, I just leave this on just so I can record the call. Now below that is a whisper message, all right? So this is something that you can say to, you can put for your client. It can say call, let's say your company's name is, uh, let's just use Google Ad School, right? So every time I send a call to my client, they will get this whisper. Only the client can hear this. Call Google Ad School call from the, here we go. Call from Google ad school. So you can put call from your agency name or just call from Google, call from Google ads. I think is what we do in our agency. We just do call from Google ads. And um, just so the client knows, 
Call from Google Ads. Just so the client knows, every time they hear this, it's, all right, this came from Clicks Geek, or this came from XYZ Media, or this came from whatever agency. All right, so that's how I do that. Next, we're going to come down here to activate tracking number. And we have the name, the number, the forward the calls to, call recordings on, and all that stuff. So we're all looking good. Perfect. So next is the Java snippet to your website. So you're going to copy that. It's going to take you to another page, which I'll show you in two seconds. All right, so this page is going to pop up, JavaScript snippet. So it's very, very simple, guys. You're just going to copy the code, and it tells you where to put it. You have to put this code on every landing page, or if it's a website you're sending traffic to, every page of the website in the body tag. It's very simple. You just copy it and paste it in the body tag. And most websites just have something where you can just drop down and drop it in the body tag very simply. It gives you more instructions if you need them. However, I feel like all of you watching this will probably have no issue with this. If you're running Google ads, you definitely need landing pages. So if, if you're running them like I'm running them and how I teach them, you're using high level for landing pages because that's the software we use. And uh, you just put them in the body tag in high level. It's very, very simple. Okay. So that's what you'll do next. Now, after that, let's move to the final step. After we install the JavaScript, we go back to the page we had open that opened that new JavaScript page and then just hit the blue button at the bottom and then it takes you right here. And this is inside the company. So we have our company name here. We have our website pool, four numbers. We are forwarding calls to here, call recordings on, text messages is on. You can turn that off if you don't want to receive text messages. Okay. Come down here, advanced options. Receive text messages, uncheck that. And this is another pretty cool tool that they have, and it kind of gives you a little thing here. You can swap numbers based on the geographic location of the visitor's IP addresses. Really cool, and you can read more about it here if you want to enable that. But make sure you hit save after you turn off text messages. All right, so next thing, we're going to create our call extension number, and then all we have to do is connect this call rail company to our Google Ads account, and we are ready to rock and roll. So to do that, create number. So actually, let's recap first. So we created our company. We created our user, we set up user notifications, we created our website pool, we installed the JavaScript on the landing page, AKA website on all pages where the number is, the swap number is that we're gonna be swapping. So we're up to that point. Now we're gonna create the call extension. So create number, I'll use it online, somewhere else. Yes, and add extension. You could do on desktop mobile devices or only on mobile devices, but mobile's fine. All right, so then I just name it Google Ad Extension. Here's the forward number where the calls are all going to go, U.S. and Canada, or choose your country, whatever that is. Choose a phone number. It's going to give you a couple options here with the area code that you wanted. Or you can go, if you want a different area code, you can check here and get a specific area code. Or if you want to do a toll-free for the call extension, it'll give you a bunch of random ones here you can choose. But for now, this is fine. Number features. Enable this message. Remember, if your state requires you, the United States, if you have to tell someone that you're recording the call, you have to have this enabled. If you want to add a whisper message, that's fine. Call from Google at extension. Right. Looks good. Activate tracking number. And now you can set up more notifications if you want, but there's really no need for that. And um, let's hit done here. All right. So now we have our tracking number and our website pool. We are ready to rock and roll and track calls in Google. The next step, number one, what you're going to want to do is take the tracking number for the call extension and you're going to want to go into your Google Ads campaign and you're going to want to upload that number. Okay. And obviously you guys went through the Google Ads course if you're watching this, so you know how to, where the call extension is under ad assets. This is the number you're going to use in there. So go do that first. Then second, we're going to take this number and we're going to place it on your landing page. I, like I said, I put them in the footer, very low at the bottom with, with small um, font or small text size. It doesn't matter. Like nobody, We don't want people finding it on the website and calling it anyway. We just want it on there so Google bot crawls the website or landing page and sees the number so it approves our ad extension. Okay, that's the whole point of this. We really only want people calling it from seeing it in the actual Google ad. So that's the most important part. So once you complete those two steps, 
Now we are going to go into integrations and we're going to set up this call rail company with our Google ads account slash campaign. So there is some advanced features in um, call rail, like you can create workflows and stuff, but I'm not going to get into that today, guys. I will make further trainings on that because they are really cool and different things you can do. A lot of like, if this, then that type stuff or round robining calls to several different phone numbers. So you can do a really, it's really flexible. It does a really, a lot of really cool stuff, but um, I'll drop trainings on that further down the line. I just want to get this out so you guys can track phone calls in Google right from watching the Google ads course in Google ads school. Then you can go into this course and then you can set it up and just get stuff tracking. That's the most important part is to uh, get all that tracking in Google. All right, rambling here. Let's go into integrations. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to choose Google ads. We're going to scroll down and it's going to ask you to log in to your Google ads account. After you log in and give it all the proper access it needs, you're going to be looking at this page again. Now, as of right now, it's pending, okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to come down here to your drop down, and if you have an MCC like me, it'll just be an MCC of all your clients in here. You'll choose the correct client. So for this, we're just using Google Ad School as an example, or you can click here and choose a different one. And this is important, guys. We're going to scroll down here, conversions, create one conversion action for all calls, send form con submissions as conversions. All right, I don't create separate conversion actions for first time callers and repeat callers. I just create one conversion action for all calls and in Google ads, you'll be able to set it so it only tracks one call for one lead. All right, activate. Now it's doing its thing. Perfect. Your integration has been activated. Now I'm going to go into Google ads and show you guys what this looks like under conversion actions. So here's status active. We are ready to rock and roll. All right, let's hop over to Google ads. All right, now we are in our Google ads account and we're going to come over to goals, conversions, summary, and we should see our call rail in here ready to go. There it is. Phone call. Now, important tip. You cannot edit the name of this. It will screw up the tracking. So leave it as it sits, as they create it. All right, phone call, good to go. So now we can go into it. All right, now we're going to make a very important change here. We're going to come under settings, edit settings, count. We're going to change it from every, and we want it to only count one. All right, this is, it, let's put it this way. If you have, if you leave it as they set it, one call from one client, from one user, one person that comes from Google Ads will count for as multiple conversions if they keep calling back. So if by checking one, one call is one conversion, no matter how many times they call, that's it. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna hit done. And voila, that's it guys. You have just set up call rail, call tracking in this quick 30 minute video, hopefully under 30 minutes. I don't know the time yet, but if you have any questions, Drop them in the questions tab in Google Ad School and I will answer them. This is straightforward. It's really easy, guys. And once you start rocking and rolling with this and onboarding clients for your agency, you'll be pumping these out in 10 minutes. It becomes so easy and so fast. While I have you guys here, the next video that's about to pop up is how to choose the correct keywords with the right keyword intent. People get this wrong and their campaigns don't work. This is the one video, if you're gonna watch anything on my channel, go watch this video. I'm gonna teach you how to choose the right keywords and the keywords to avoid, all right? Because if you choose the wrong keywords, your campaigns are never gonna work. So it's popping up right now. Go watch that video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.